Wendell Carter Jr. joins us right now. Come on, tell us about the finish. I did it in <laughs> slow motion. Boy, you left that up there a long time. What a big shot, Wendell. Yeah, shout out to 3D for sure. Uh, I knew he was in the house. You know, his, his motto is uh, leave it. Yep, so, yep, that's uh, right. Yeah, man, I, I think, uh, you know, down the stretch, you know, um, I know what I'm capable of from, from the three-point line, and I didn't. Hit my first three, but I knew, you know, just stay resilient. Just keep shooting them. I know I'm a great shooter. My teammates um, encouraged me to keep shooting it. So uh, no, that's what I did, and I made big shots. Wendell, you don't mind physicality. You're, you play with a toughness about you. Tell us about how physical this game was and how difficult it was to, to kind of get a flow or a rhythm. What, what was your thought on how tough this game was? Um, I, you know, I, I definitely give a lot of credit to the Knicks. Um, you know, they, they, they hang their hat on being a physical team, both offensively and defensively. Um, you know, they got a lot of guys that know their role in their team, so uh, they make it really hard, you know, to, uh, to beat them. You know, you can't make that many mistakes, especially down the stretch. And I feel like, you know, we locked in on that. We understood who the Knicks were. We, we brought physicality also to the game. And then, um, you know, got stops when they mattered, got rebounds when they mattered, and just made big shots down the stretch. You know, you weren't even born yet when 3D was knocking down <laughs> those three-point shots. But I know you know him from TV and, oh, yeah. and, and that pose up there. But mm -hmm. uh, from a serious side, uh, Wendell, talk to me about uh, the mindset that you guys have going into these last, you know, eight or nine games because a lot of teams would just be going through the motions right now. Right. Um, you know, we, we know how good we are as a team. You know, unfortunately, we didn't start the year off um, the way we wanted to, but um, – you know, I feel like this is just an opportunity for us to continue to just stack wins. You know, you never know what can happen late in this um, in this season um, as we're maybe three or four games out of the play-in. You know, we just want to just stay resilient. You know, just let, let guys know that you know, we deserve to be you know, one of the best teams in the league, you know, even though we're young. So we're just going to continue to play hard every game, try to get as many wins as we can. So um, if we don't make it this year, we just feel enough for next year. Well, you know, if you don't make it, one thing you can do, though, is still ruin somebody else's yeah, that's situation, a, yeah. their seating, home court advantage. There's, yeah. still, <laughs> there's still a lot of things you, you can accomplish even mm -hmm. if you're, you're not going to the playoffs, playoffs yourself. Exactly, exactly. Uh, no, that just goes to the, the competitive nature that we have as a group. You know, we're just going to go into every game trying to win, no matter if uh, we have no shot at all, you know, these last three or four games or if we got opportunity. So, you know, we just we just going to play basketball. You know, we're just competitors at the end of the day. Wendell, what was your uh, approach here tonight? Uh, they're physical guys with Julius Randle, with Mitchell Robinson. Yeah. Dell, he can affect the game without even scoring. <laughs> Starting with this no-look pass from Markel <laughs> right to you, right? What was your approach here this evening? Um... You no, know, just to, to bring physicality back to the game. Um, you know, like you said, they're a really physical team. So we just wanted to continue to just do things on both sides of the court that affect them. Um, you know, you never want to be the, the, the team that's getting punked, as we would say, um, throughout the game. You know, we want to be able to, um, you know, just also bring physicality to the game, like I said. So I think that was really big for us um, down the stretch, especially, um, you know, when guys try to get going. So... Um, my, my biggest thing, my, what I was telling all my teammates, you know, just stay resilient and keep, you know, keep the physicality up no matter if shots going in or not. All right, last thing, Wendell, uh, Gary Harris's Spartans lost tonight. Was he a little unbearable in the, in the locker room going into the Sweet 16? Uh, how, how has Gary been now with his Spartan success? Honestly, he didn't, uh, he didn't even say anything about it. Um, okay. So, wow. Uh, humble maybe, humble yeah, Spartan. Yeah, he's a humble guy for sure. So... <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't even I didn't even hear him say anything about it. All right, well, Wendell, this was mm -hmm. awesome. This is great. I love that you're playing something. I love that these games mean something, yeah. and I love that you're taking it this serious and playing this hard down the stretch. Keep it up. Great win tonight. Great yes. job, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, when despite the the Knicks making several runs, your group was able to to remain composed and, and close this one out. You know, how how much maturity do you think your your group's showing, especially in that regard? They keep showing it. Uh, I think that's the sign of growth in these close games. They're not getting rattled. They understand how we have to play uh, coming down the stretch, getting stops first, and then being able to get out and run and execute our offense. The last, you know, five games, I, I believe, have been you know close contests against teams contending someplace in the postseason. You know, how valuable has it been to get that experience late in the season and have it all come right in a row? 
Well, we've said it before. That's the only way that you're going to learn. You have to go through it. You know, regardless of the outcome of the game, you have to go through these situations. You have to go through down two, down three, up three, up four, whatever it looks like. Um, we have to be able to show them on film so they can feel it real time. And I, I think they're getting that. And so it's showing in the way in which we're playing down the back end of these games. <clears throat> You went with a double big lineup of Goga and Mo Wagner uh, with the second unit. Just what were you looking for from that group and how do you think they did? I thought they did really good. I, I thought they played well off of each other, mixing when one was rolling, one was popping. Uh, again, part of that was just seeing how they've played their games. They continue to keep two bigs on the floor. Uh, and I think Mo can do a good job when, when it was, came to guarding Randall. But I, I just really think they were working well off of one another and then allowed those guards to play as well was it also just trying to counteract or counter their offensive rebounding advantage? It was more because of that's the way in which they play. You know, I know he goes with two bigs often, so I thought that was a good matchup for us tonight, and that was an opportunity for both of those bigs to be on the floor. Coach, I uh, thought it was pretty interesting that throughout the season, Caleb's been spending some time over in the G Leagues and mm -hmm. spending some time um, with, with less minutes, and now you're trusting him with these late fourth quarter minutes. Um, so what have you seen from him lately in these last few games that, that's giving him that value to be out there in those really important uh, stretches? Just his ability to be in the right place at the right time, uh, defensively positioning, offensively just spacing the floor. He doesn't need the basketball, but then it's the other side that guys can find him you know, when he is there because he's not chasing it at all. So I think that his ability to stretch the floor helps out a ton. Jamal, you had touched on it earlier. There's so many different ways you guys have had to close out games here these, these past uh, few weeks. Uh, this one was really shot making, was able to get it done. When you have a young group like that that is able to make big time shots within those last couple minutes, what does that do for you and for their confidence? Well, we've said it to them time and time again, their ability to get tough stops down the stretch and make tough shots down the stretch. That's what it comes down to, but that it's part of the execution. And then their willingness to trust each other in those moments to make the right play, the right pass, and whoever gets that basketball is willing to step in to knock the shot down. Randall is a guy that had 57 the other night, and Paolo primarily guarded him for most of the most of the second half. What did you see out of him kind of rising to that occasion and being able to hold one of the better players to, I believe, 21? Well, his willingness to take on those challenges. I think we, the other night we played Miami. He was willing to take on that challenge at the end of the game, guarding Jimmy Butler. I, I think it just shows growth that he's not afraid to step into those big moments and sit down and guard. Uh, he wants that responsibility, and his teammates are entrusting, entrusting him to, to take that responsibility on. Coach, with under 10 to go, the light at the end of the tunnel is there. Do you see the guys putting together a snowball? Can this one win with the shot making and all that really get you going? To get it going. I think we just have to continue to take it one at a time, uh, being consistent in how we play. And I think as we continue to put it together, I think that's the biggest key. So, you know, the next game versus Brooklyn is going to be key. What do we do consistently? You know, obviously we got to make sure we continue to take care of the basketball like we have, defend at the right, defend the right way without fouling, but just being consistent in our effort and our energy. <clears throat> Paolo hits that, that three-pointer, a couple free throws there late. To, to kind of clinch the win there. Just what, if, you know, what does it say about him as a rookie, his first year in the league, to, to step up in those moments and to be able to make those shots? Well, I really think it says a ton about the work he's put in, the work that our coaches have put in with him, and the guys willing to trust him on those pass outs. Uh, we've talked about it a ton, and he does a great job of putting the work in. Uh, but again, he's never been one to shy away from a big moment, and I think that's the important piece of staying in the moment, not letting a play pr uh, prior to you know, impact how, um, being willing to step in and take a big shot. We talked a little bit before the game about uh, knowing how to weather the runs, and obviously this is mm -hmm. a game where there are a lot of a lot of pushes to move the lead out, to, and the Knicks reeling it back in. What does it say about this team's poise, not only to close the game late, but to kind of take the, the heavy punch that the Knicks put on with, with the atmosphere being what it was as well to, to withstand it and come out on top? Well, I thought it was great because we talked at halftime. We talk about winning quarters. You win the first two quarters, and the tendency is to come out and relax, and they made that great run in the third quarter like the last game, similar situation. So when you walk in the huddle, and it's 75-75, you say, you know what, we have to win this fourth quarter. And these guys understood it because that's exactly what we did the other night. So now we just have to have better growth coming out in that third and know it's going to be a game of runs, but how do we continue to, to weather those storms? There you go, Magic. What do you like about your, your group's ability tonight to kind of withstand their 
run, r- remain composed, and, and close out this game? Uh, yeah, I was just proud of how we defended. Uh, guys had big shots down the stretch. Uh, Cole, Gary, Wendell, um, all hitting threes that kind of kept them arm's length. Um, and then we were able to get stops when we needed them, um, get key rebounds, and it was just all around good effort to close the game out. Your last five games have all been close contests against, you know, teams playing for something postseason-wise. Uh, you know, how valuable has it been to have that experience this late in the season and all back-to-back together, and can you see the growth from that? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I mean, honestly, I, I haven't... I feel like I haven't really played a game or we haven't played a game this year that wasn't meaningful. I mean, I think every game pretty much this year has been competitive, but you can just feel the intensity get turned up. Um, This back half of the season, uh, teams playing for, you know, playoff position and and whatnot, trying to get into playoffs. So, uh, yeah, I mean, guys are, teams are desperate. um, And it's just, it makes it, it makes it more fun, you know, when the level gets raised. So I'm just uh, happy that we get to be a part of it and, uh, you know, compete.